So the best vaccines can eradicate disease. These vaccines generally provide good training to the shield, witnesses and police. Hi everyone, so my name is uh, Dr. Lim Sin Hong. I'm a scientist and a venture capital investor. I'm currently an Assistant Managing Director at uh, Vickers Venture Partners, which is a global deep tech and life science PC investment firm. I started and I run the Silicon Valley office and I oversee our life sciences investment practice. I'm also a board director at Emergex Vaccines, which is a UK company developing groundbreaking T-cell vaccines that aim to provide safe and durable immunity against multiple viruses, including the many variants and strains of SARS-CoV-2. And generally, how does uh, the immune system work? The immune system protects your body from external invaders, which includes things like viruses, bacteria, and fungi, etc. So it's, it's called a system as it involves many different organs, cells, and proteins working together. There are two main parts of the immune system. Uh, one, it's innate immunity, which is the body's rapid response system. Uh, once innate immune cells sense invaders, they act quickly and immediately to eat and kill them. The second part of the immune system is uh, what you call adaptive immunity, which is the body's trained immunity. This enables the body to recognize and defend against specific invaders. It's comprised of uh, B cells, which produce antibodies that act like a shield and T cells that either help the B cells or kill infected cells. I think a useful analogy is to think of antibodies as shields right, that uh, prevent things like the viruses and bacteria from getting into cells. Um, there are witnesses to a crime, which are the helper T cells. Uh, there are also the police, which are the killer T cells. And there's the criminal at the crime scene, which is the RNA virus, for example, a SARS-CoV-2 virus. So in the event of a natural infection, the body fights off criminals with a combination of shields and police, and the witnesses help to notify the police. How does a vaccine work? Vaccines teach the immune system to recognize intruders. They are like a criminal mugshot. Right? It teaches the immune system what the virus criminal looks like, and it helps to design better shields and train witnesses and police. So the shields can prevent the criminal from getting into a house. But the criminal is sneaky and it can disguise to evade the shields just like a uh, flu and, and actually just like SARS-CoV-2 is currently doing. And like some in some cases, uh, if it's a virus like dengue, it can even use the shields to get into the house. It's very, very sneaky. But once the criminal is in the house, you need the police to get rid of them. So the police, uh, aka killer T-cells, they can recognize criminals in different disguises and they are required for recovery and long-term protection. For instance, police killer T-cells that can recognize SARS criminals have been found to last for 17 years. So the best vaccines can eradicate disease. For example, you know, smallpox and measles vaccines. These vaccines generally provide good training to the shield, witnesses, and police. The non-eradicating vaccines, for example, seasonal flu vaccines, uh, they may be less effective and they require boosters or annual shots because they provide uh, incomplete training. Perhaps they provide the shield and witnesses, but little to no police. Now, this doesn't work so well for RNA virus criminals like flu, SARS, or dengue because they tend to transmit from cell to cell or house to house without ever leaving the house. So antibody shields can act only on criminals if they are outside of the house, but they are ineffective against RNA virus criminals once they get into the house. So to eliminate RNA virus infections, we really need the police. We need killer T cells. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for your regular dose of Asian health information.